Hey, good day everyone. Today we're going to see how to do L pickup. So as you can see here, I have a minimal L in the bottom left corner. So when I'm going to walk over this cube here, I'm going to gain 50 L. Walk over the cube, gain 50 L. So we're going to see exactly how to do this. The first thing we have to do is creating a folder. And I'm going to name that folder items. And in this, I'm going to create a master pickup class, which is going to control all the pickup in the game. So I'm going to call that, I'm going to right click and just do a new blueprint. And it's going to be an actor. I'm going to call that BP underscore pickup, no, not pitch, but <laughs> pickup master class and I'm gonna open it so here in the pickup master class we have the default row here so we're gonna put a mesh so we're just gonna search for mesh and we're gonna get the static mesh and we're gonna call the static mesh the pickup mesh and we're going to drag that to the default scene. And under the default scene, we're going to search for a sphere collision. And I'm going to rename it pickup sphere collision. Perfect. So we're going to go to the event graph. And here in the event graph, we're not going to need this. So we're just going to move it out of the way. So now on our uh, sphere collision, if you right click, you can do an event and we're going to search for the event overlap. Also, we're going to need the event and overlap. And we're just going to move this down. Well, the first thing we're going to verify if which character is walking over that sphere collision. So in our case, it's the first person character. So we're going to cast to the first person character so we're going to create a custom event right here under and we're going to call this pickup sphere entered and we're just going to from here we're just going to pick up sphere enter so as you can see you cannot connect this um, directly so what we have to do first is clicking on the pickup sphere enter here and we're just going to add an input and we're going to rename this input character. And here we are going to search for our first person character. And we're going to get the object reference. Now we should be able to do this. So from here, we're just going to do the same thing for the pickup sphere collision when we are ending the overlap. So we're going to drag from the other actor and cast to our first person character and we're going to create a custom event right under which we're going to call pickup sphere left and from our character here we're just going to call this so pickup sphere left and same thing will apply so we have to go on our pickup sphere left and just make sure that we have the input for our character. It should be already pre-filled because we already did it for the one above. Now we should be able to connect those two together. So what this code is doing for us is every time our first person character will enter that sphere pickup collision, it's gonna go to this code here, the pickup sphere entered from our child blueprint that we are going to create from the master class pickup, we're gonna get this custom event here to continue our code. So for the L pickup, in the L pickup child blueprint, we're going to get this and continue the code here to get our logic to gain some health. So instead of always doing this code in every single blueprint, we're using the child blueprint from this master blueprint, which will always have this code inside so we can always just go and get this so we just save a little bit of time that way 
we're going to go back to our item folder and we're going to create the first item elk pickup as you can see if you do another blueprint it's not going to be targeted to this one so what you can do you can just click on this one and create a child blueprint class and a child blueprint class we're going to call that bp underscore elk underscore pickup and we're gonna go right in it so in our L pickup we did that in our master blueprint right here the pickup mesh and the pickup sphere collision so it's right here so we already have this so now the only thing we have to do really is clicking on the mesh and we can set up the static mesh that we want for our L pickup so for this case here just for now we're gonna just search for cube and our L pickup will be now a cube. So we're gonna compile this. We're gonna go to event, remove those three, and we're gonna be able to call our pickup sphere enter in our master event. To get access to this, first we're gonna click here and we're gonna make sure that we can see all the variable from our master pickup so by clicking this we're gonna now have access to everything that the master pickup class has so from that now if we search for even pickup entered now it should be like this in red so it's going to be this one here right it's really important that we use this one so from that create a branch right now we have our character here so we need to access our health so we're going to search for our health variable so we're going to get health and we're going to also get our max health we're going to make sure that we drag from that and we're going to do a less i'm going to plug those two together and it's going to be connected to our branch if our health is smaller than our max health, which means it's going to be true. So we're going to continue the logic from there. So we're going to cast to our modify health. As you remember, we have already our health modifier here in our first person character. So we're going to use this to do the calculation instead of redoing all that code. We're just going to use this. So we're going to go back to our health pickup. And we're just going to drag from that and we're going to search for the modify health. However, we won't be able to access it because we need to go from the character class first. So we have the character here, our first person character. So we can just drag from that. And now we should be able to call our health modified and plug it right there. So I'm just going to make that a little bit better. There you go. And our health here, well, is going to be the health given so how much health we want this to give to our player so we're going to create a variable and we're going to call that health to give and basically we're just going to do make sure it's a float and how much health we want to give so if we compile we're going to be able to change the value here so how much health you want to give to your player every time they walk over a health in the game well, just for demonstration, we're going to put 50. So we're going to drag this variable right here and do get health. And we're going to multiply this by a negative value. And you may be wondering why you multiply by a negative value. Well, it's simple because in our first person character, you remember we are subtracting the health, right? But this time we want to add some health to our character. So if we leave it, if we do plus here, well, one is going to cast is going to go for minus. But if you um, multiply by two, two minus, well, it's going to change for positive. So instead of removing L, it's going to add some L to our character because we're multiplying by a negative value. So that negative value would be minus one. So that way we're going to gain L. 50 health instead of losing 50 health so from this now the only thing we have to do remaining is basically destroying the actor 
because we don't want that actor to stay in the game otherwise the player can just walk back and forth and just gain 50 health each time uh, we're gonna search for destroy actor and that actor will be destroyed so we're gonna compile this and we should be good to try this so let's go back to our first person map add our health here in the game and I do believe we start with very little health yes we start with 10 so let's try it out see if it works so we have just a little bit of health here if I walk over this as you can see here there's a collision issue so we're gonna need to fix this so we can walk over that so let's try again so we're gonna go back to our health go to the viewport as you can see here the block is way bigger than the health pickup itself so we're gonna make sure that we click on our mesh and that we are making this smaller so like 0.2 maybe and we have 0.2 but we need that make sure that the uh, sphere is bigger so the radius so we're gonna 256 as you can see now the health uh, not the health but the sphere collision is bigger than our sphere so we should be good now so let's try it out so we're gonna go play now and so our health is right here and I just gained 50 health so let's try again so we have just a little bit of health in the bottom corner as soon as I'm gonna walk over this I'm gonna gain 50 health there you go if I go there my health is going down there we go so I'm not dying instantly like I was used to so that's exactly how you do a health pickup there's other way to do it obviously um, I think this way is uh, it's quite simple there's not too much logic because we already use what we already created in the past instead of redoing the code over over and over so i will catch you on the next one